This episode of Boss Rush After Dark is brought to you by, well, you. If you want to learn how to support our family of podcasts, head over to patreon.com slash boss rush media or search for us on the Patreon app on your smart device. Thanks for helping us build something better. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Boss Rush After Dark. Uh, I am not LaRon. Sorry, everybody. I know you're real disappointed. That's okay. What's popping? Yeah. What's popping? My sleeves are on and they're long because I don't have arms like LaRon. Anyways, also uh, joining me is the mad pharmacist herself, Stephanie Klimov. Hello. I just leaned on my elbow the same elbow that I fell on after uh, during pole class, and it really hurts. Ouch. Yeah, it doesn't sound it doesn't sound like a does not sound like a good time. Mm-hmm. Also, here is PK Power himself, Pat Klein. Welcome to After Dark, PK Power. If you were to do like a video game theme porn channel on Pornhub, there, Pat, would you mm-hmm. call yourself PK Power? Oh, I would totally call myself PK Power. Hmm. Mm. Speaking so. of video game porn, not that I watch that, but I noticed <laughs> that a very popular franchise that's been pornified is Overwatch. I know yes. there's a lot oh, that's, of that's been It's pornified. because that engine is so easy to crack open and you can take the models out of them mm. and put them in, literally oh, is in. Is that what it is? Of, yeah. Yep. Because yeah. I'm like, dang, it's all Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay. Stephanie's very uh, uh, suddenly very interested in trying Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> it's no. like, wow, that tracer looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, video game porn. Uh, you know, you want to know one that's even more disturbing than the Overwatch one is the is the Ninja Turtles parody one is very disturbing. <laughs> Ew. Oh, uh, and the X Men parody one is also kind of disturbing. <laughs> But also, strangely, comic book accurate in some ways. So, yeah. hmm. anyways, enough about that. Um, well, just don't, uh, just don't get into. Uh, what was it called? Creep? Not creepy pasta. Um, th- there's a whole bunch of Sonic stuff oh, out boy. there. That oh no, you, you want to stay away from? Oof. Yeah, no. Nope. Yeah. Mm. Dan from my pre prior podcast uh, would always try and get us to explore. Hmm. You know what? I think I will uh, put a pin in video game porn as a topic, and I'll do some research, and we can have that as a topic in the future. <laughs> okay. What? I don't know why that was so funny. It's, it's, <laughs> it it's is late. Funny. I'm tired. <laughs> it is funny. I, I might avoid any Zelda-related ones, because it might ruin the franchise for me. Oh, right right yeah. now, it's a whole bunch of uh, Daddy Dwarf and oh, uh, Zelda mix. And some yes. people are like, I don't like that. But then you know they they take Link tends to be the joke on those ones now because they want to you know have the Daddy Dwarf uh, Zelda ship. Yeah, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure Breath of the Wild was all sight on and Link anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, anyway. Anyway. Um. Wow. So the. Uh... Let's see the so the 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 big I guess for patrons already have noticed this and uh, I'm sure free feeds will notice this too but uh, we've d- made the decision to make After Dark every other week because there is another conversational podcast on uh, Boss Rush called Jump Off Point that Ed is heading up and so we are going to alternate weeks between After Dark and Jump Off Point on. Uh, patreon uh so you can look for that uh jump off point does not have its own free feeds yet but you can find it on the boss rush plus podcast feed for now until we kind of get that set up uh if you want to listen to that so you can go over there and check that out it's also on youtube you can also check it out there uh so that's kind of the decision we're making uh because there's things that are changing within our patreon within our content output and uh we kind of just are leaving it at that for now um i don't know stephanie if you have anything to say about it i'm you know 
No, just folk. We want to continue to provide um, great quality, you know, quality mm-hmm. over quantity, not to be cliche, but especially if we want to incorporate, uh, I keep confused. Is it jump off or jumping off point? Jump off point. Jump off point. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, even though numerically we are shrinking, we want to be better. Yeah. And we're kind of like the, the, not that this is the show to really talk about it on, but we, so we have obviously the boss rush podcast and Nintendo power block are kind of the main shows. And then each show has their like extra show. So like Nintendo power block has expansion pass boss rush has boss rush plus, And then they have each side now has their own conversational show, which is after dark and jump off point, jump off points a little bit more lighthearted. I would say uh, this is more the, uh, uh, you know, you know what it is if you've been listening this long. So uh, that's kind of where we're at. We're going to focus more on quality over quantity. We're also going to do some extra conversations on weeks. We don't record this just to kind of have output for people. Uh, well, really then it'll, it'll help us, you know, focus on a- other cool yeah. things we can bring to you. Yeah. It's not that it's not that we don't want to do this right. We do. We're we are again, like Stephanie said, we're focusing on quality over quantity. And I think maybe maybe having the show every week is too much for people sometimes sometimes, especially because of some of the things we talk about. But we like also holes. do after dark. Literally yeah. after dark. Yeah. Sorry, holes has been now been beaten out by Jerry Springer, so what? Yeah. R.I.P. Jerry Springer. Yeah, rip Jerry Springer. Oh. Didn't our like it, aliens one also do well? Yeah, our alien invasion episode did really well too. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> uh, aliens, Jerry Springer, and holes. What else do you need in your life? Um, <laughs> you know, and that could all just be one episode right there. Oh, really could be. Could be alien holes with Jerry Springer. Oh no. <laughs> 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 Oh, the alien is the father. Uh, oh. I guess that's Maury, but anyway. Mm-hmm. It's all the same. I got something to tell you. Oh, I'm man. really an alien. <gasps> Gasp. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, pick up the chair, throw it against the wall, and then say I love you at the end. Oh, no. What's going on? Uh, so we have... that. I just wanted to let everybody know up front. That's kind of where we're at there. And then... Uh, you know, Leron will be back the next episode because he's on vacation with his boyfriend. Ooh. Ooh. Real fancy pants San Francisco trip. I know. And he also got a he also got the rogue ally and I really want I really want one. He's living his best life right now. I know. I know. Good job, Leron. Proud of you. If you want to be a Patreon producer, head on over to Patreon, patreon.com slash Media, and find out which tier is right for you. Our Patreon producers at the $5 tier or higher for this month are Adriel Munger, Austin Campbell, Celeste Roberts, Christian S., Sana Dierig, Francisco Santillan, and Rebecca Jewell. Thank you for your continued support. Uh... Anyways, we have topics. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do Stephanie's topic first, so I can huh? research. Yeah. <laughs> Overwatch porn? No. What was you my topic? What, what are we looking forward to this summer? Oh. <laughs> Apparently, Overwatch porn. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sorry, I didn't even realize um, the topic that I came up with like 10 minutes ago. Um, yes, what wow. are we looking forward to this summer? Um, and I, you'd think that'd be such an easy topic, but it just kind of, summer is here in a blink of an eye. And so today was my son's last day of school, which I think is later than most. I think the majority of that parents... That is really late. We've, yeah. Our school district has been done for like the last two weeks. Yeah, yeah, my daughter's been out of school for three weeks. She's been at camp. She's been at Safety Town. <laughs> safety Town. I want to send yeah. my kid to Safety Town. Safety I mean, like, town. from a parent's point of view, like, I'm glad because I don't know what to do if I'm working and he doesn't have anything to do. But poor kid. But anyway, like, it just made me. And also, 
my Facebook feed is littered with moms posting the day one of first grade and last day of first grade, which, you know, I don't want to make fun of them. I guess it's cute, but here I am like not taking these pictures with their adorable little signs. I don't know. I'm just a neglectful parent, I my guess. My wife would take umbrage with that. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know those. Well, that's what I'm saying. Now I feel like I'm the bad parent, but anyway, summer is so here. We established that with the... You know, letting your son play Minecraft. Yeah. Anyway. Maybe, you, maybe he can build one for you. Maybe he can <laughs> Listen, Minecraft a sign for you. Someday, that Minecraft game just might magically get lost. Just <laughs> I don't know how it got deleted. Can you redownload it? No. It's it's done. It's gone forever. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we're going into July. Are there any either specific plans, trips, or just anything, whether it's games, anything like Mm -hmm. anything that you're looking forward to this summer? Now, granted, summer is not my favorite season of the year, but summer comes with a lot of fun and happy connotations. Yeah. I mean, my, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law just got a pool, so that might be fun. Uh, I don't. We'll be hanging out over there a lot this summer, I think, because uh, obviously a pool is a big draw, and uh, yeah, yeah. they, you know, we'll be cooking out and eating and having fun on the weekends. And like, I never really had that growing up, really, because, well, I don't know, we just never really did. And so I'm kind of excited to do that for you know, I, I mean, we've kind of gone over there and hung out, but like. They have a, I mean, they have a house and they have a pool and the grill and the big backyard and the, you know, all the things that you think about when you look in your backyard and you wish you had, like it's, they have it. And so we're going to probably be over there a lot until we find a house. Uh, Also, that's something I'm looking forward to this summer too, is finding a house because I would really like to have one. (laughs) House hunting. That's fun. Kind of. Uh, Yeah. It's just everything is so expensive and like everything's out of our budget by like $50,000. And, you know, I mean, we find one that's within our budget, but then like the housing market's so bad that people are overbidding. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's like, well, we can't overbid by that much because then we are out of budget. And I mean, our budget's pretty conservative, uh, especially for this, you know, compared to other areas. But like, it's like, man, this is. (sighs) <sighs> sometimes it's all about who you know because i just one of my friends just recently they already have a house but their best friend's aunt i think just passed away and uh they don't have anyone to like really take the house well no nah, i mean they could sell the house but they're like hey you know would you be interested in this house and they're giving it 25 percent off the market value so almost unheard of a, of a deal. Yeah, house house hunting has been tough. We we saw one that was like. Also, we're like trying to stay in the, this kind of school district. Also, and there's like three different school districts within like a like a couple mile radius of us. So like we're really trying to stay in this school district, especially for kindergarten through like fourth grade we live in an area where there's three kind of elementary schools and they all converge into one school and uh for middle and high school and but like i don't know we just really like this elementary school for our daughter especially because she's like she has a lot of like anxiety about change and like our nephews go to this school also and we're trying to find things of familiarity for her to pick out so she doesn't she isn't as scared you know right you know so it's uh i mean she's the type of person where like not to like share her (laughs) anxiety on the on the podcast really but like on she goes to ballet class on sundays and like the other day there was a substitute teacher and it took her like a half hour to join the class because it was change and so I mean, yeah. while kids can be different in general, I mean, mm-hmm. kids kids thrive on structure and consistency, mm-hmm. um, and and getting used to change is a learned thing. There's plenty of adults that still don't like change, so I don't know. I feel like that's 
you know, like when I say within the realm of normal, like I don't see anything necessarily wrong with that. And I feel that we, when you look at houses or apartments, whatever, if you're looking to move mm-hmm. and you have kids, it makes things just a bajillion more layers of complex because you want to keep in mind of how they're going to adjust to that because it's a big deal. Yeah. So it's totally valid. Yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of that's kind of where we're at there. But, I mean, I don't know. It's looking more and more like we're going to be here for another year at least just because <laughs> all the good houses are taken and nobody's selling anything. And the the market bubble is supposed to pop next year, you know? And it's like, well, will it? I don't know. I don't know. But that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to swimming and garbage food off the grill. Man, corn on the cob, on the grill. Awesome asparagus and that's not necessarily garbage food you know like it is when you lather it in butter and seasoning Mm -hmm. salt (laughs) oh okay well when you put it like that uh and like man you know what i've really been into the last like few months is like grilled like zucchini and squash which is like something i would have never eaten when i was little but like you put that on the grill with some salt and pepper and some little bit of butter oh my gosh it's so good well, see, again, a little bit of butter isn't a problem either. <laughs> what you got to do is after you put it in the grill, just dip it right into that hot butter and just drown I it. I know. You ever... So, <laughs> funny story. My my great-grandma, who lived to be 97 years old, when when we were really little and she was, like, still able to, you know, move and do things, like, we were... She, uh would get like this cup of butter, like a, like a cup, like a cup of butter and like put it in the microwave and melt it. She would melt this butter. And then when she would like cook corn on the cob, she she would take like the, like the corn things that you stick in each end. So you don't have to like touch the corn. Right. She would put one Mm -hmm. in the the butt of the ear of corn and dip it in the butter and pull it out. And then just I've never seen so much salt and pepper on a single thing in my entire life. Man, she was just like this frail, like five foot tall, like maybe a hundred pounds soaking wet <laughs> lady. And that's what she did. I'm like, oh my gosh. Did she partake in that? Like she ate it? That's too? what she did. Yeah. See, look at that. Who says butter's unhealthy? Look how long she lived. I know. No. I know. Man. So, but yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. That sounds pretty awesome to me. How about you, Pat? You know what? I am looking forward to tomorrow. (laughs) What's tomorrow, Pat? (laughs) Why, tomorrow is when I'm going to be getting my collect, my deluxe collector's edition of Final Fantasy 16. Oh, man. I meant to talk about that on the Boss Rush podcast, man. I'm like, man. The things I was reading about that game is like really turning me off from that game. You're letting yourself be swayed. I'm, Dude, I'm not. But... People are saying this is like the best Final Fantasy ever, and they're giving it 90s. It's like, what? All right, Corey, just do a high level of what BS you were reading. Yeah. The... And let me tell so, you why it's wrong. I read two reviews, and both of them said that this was like a pretty much a very long Devil May Cry game with uh light rpg elements and that really turns me off i don't want to play devil may cry i want to play final fantasy uh light rpg elements the thing's got fucking skill trees in it i don't know that's what that's what i read you know yeah what? no Corey's like i don't want to <laughs> play it anymore i don't i don't want to play devil may cry i want to play i want to play final fantasy yeah it's Final Fantasy, trust me, it's a story, even though, according to Polygon, that it is a story about white Europeans learning that slavery is bad. It's like, shut the fuck up. That's why I don't read Polygon. <laughs> it's like, you're, you're trying to make something controversial. They already told you, yes, it's European influence, but Gosh, seriously? They're, they're like one writer away from being the next Kotaku, I swear. <laughs> I swear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> But yeah, I'm, I am looking forward to the games that are still on the way this summer. There's there's still a whole bunch that are coming out that I'm excited for. Uh, you know, Pikmin is getting, ex- I'm getting excited for more and more each uh, 
each day. Um, Final Fantasy, like I said, it's uh, it's it's a good year to be a gamer for sure. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm looking for. I'm actually like a game that actually had the opposite effect on me from that Final Fantasy did was Starfield. Like I wasn't looking forward to that game at all, but like the things they were showing, and I'm like, man, this game looks awesome. I don't know if I have enough time to even touch the surface of that game. Oh, no geez. pun intended, uh, but like that game looks incredibly ambitious and yeah, I'm, uh i'm gonna do what i did in no man's sky and just explore like planets and scan all the life and then move on to the next planet we're not even gonna touch side quests we're just gonna explore planets yeah all thousand of them yeah assassin's creed looks cool too i can't wait for that mm-hmm uh also uh my friends and i usually do an annual camping trip every year Hence annual. And uh, we've hit our 10th year. Ooh. So we're going big and going to a place called the Apostle Islands, which is about six hours away up in uh, northern Wisconsin. It's uh, it's it's like one of the most premier camping spots in Wisconsin. Nice. Yeah. So that that's going to be early August. Now- let me ask you about camping. Is this like we're sleeping in sleeping bags under trees and wiping our butts with poison ivy? Or is this like we're getting a cabin with cable and Wi-Fi camping? A little closer to uh, the first one. Oh, no. Yeah, we, we, we do tents. Mm. But mm. the tents do have air mattresses. Mm. But your pl- your toilets may or may not be plumbing. Oh, no. Hmm. But we've perfected the house, Pat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you never really know just what true freedom is until you pee just right outside your tent. Oh, no. I hate it. I need to put my it. she pee to use. <laughs> oh, no. What? Wait, what? It's, it's it's a thing where a girl's a device a girl, girl can use so she can pee like a man. And it's awesome. What? I, I got didn't know to, these things exist. It's like a funnel that sticks outward. What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, we can finally you, get that experience of freedom. Do you like, is it like a, is it like a, can you like strap it on or do you like, no, is it like, I'm imagining it's like, just a cup. Yeah. You just, you just pee into a funnel, dude. It's just a funnel. I just, I don't know. I mean, into, I'll, I'll send a picture of it to you. Hmm. Not in use. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't, I don't need to see it. You use it. It's all right. We're family oh. here. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, man. You know, Yikes. I have not been camping, camping since I was a kid. But And not that I went often, but I do remember the experience of being in a tent and going behind a tree to pee or whatever. I'm like, wow, I did have the legit experience. But I'm so far removed from it, Pat, that I'm kind of concerned of whether or not I can actually do it now, and it makes me sad. I mean, I'm sure I can if I force mm-hmm. myself, but it's like, yeah. oh, man. Teach yourself with the nice group. Although two years ago was probably our worst camping experience. Like, we, there was tornadoes and severe thunderstorms and flash flooding. We We literally had to shut down camp in the middle of a severe thunderstorm and run to shelter. And then we just, at, luckily we had, there was a, the camping site we chose was a, um, it was a farm field for one of, um, one of our friends, uh, dad. So his house was pretty close and we got to stay there for the night. Nice. But I, 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 I had to get a new tent after that one. The, the storm destroyed mine. Hmm. I uh, I don't even remember the last time I went camping. I I go so out of my way to like not <laughs> be in the woods <laughs> like ever. I'm a, I'm a I'm indoorsy, as they You're say. You're an indoor cat. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't I don't want to. Like I'll go outside as long as I know that like 15 feet away I can go it back inside, you know. And I'm not talking like a tent or like a cabin. I'm talking like a like a house, <laughs> like air conditioning and plumbing. I'm I'm a terrible person. I would never survive 
you know, if there was like an apocalypse or something or like the walking dead happened, I would just, I don't know. I would be done. So Stephanie, what are you looking forward to? Well, the first thing that I'm looking forward to is next week. I'll be headed out to LA with my son. What? Not the L- um, it's his first major big vacation. Like, cause you know, we do, weekend trips like in the state or a day trip you know what i'm saying like within the new mm-hmm. england area and he's going to super nintendo land nice yeah i mean i'm keeping my expectations expectations in check because i know it's small um and kind of tight but um it's still gonna be a fun experience for both him and i i mean unless all he cares about is minecraft while we're there but anyway in which case you leave him in the park i (laughs) told him today because i was still being super petty i was like well since you like Mm -hmm. minecraft i'm just gonna cancel the nintendo trip he's like no um so i'm looking forward to that like i mean there's gonna be the stress of traveling with a child on an airplane but you know, kid's seven, so I feel like he can mostly fend for himself. Remember um, to have him plug his nose and blow. Oh, okay. I was like thinking of giving him gum, too, maybe. Gum gum is all right, but I find it's just you plug your nose and you mm-hmm. blow, and that kind of, like, repressures your ears. You don't have to pop your ears, people say. It's just, you know, push the pressure out. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's a nice trick. Thank you. Mm-hmm. But, um, My... My kids actually did surprisingly well on a plane when we went to Disney. So, I mean, granted, that was an hour and a half flight, hour and 45 minute flight and not a, what, a five or six hour flight out that way. Seven, well, for, maybe, for me, it's years. more of like needing to get to, like say, I need to get to the airport through security because my son moves like molasses. He's like his father. He is the slowest kid ever. And I'm just afraid, like, I don't want to miss a flight or miss this or miss that because... Like, my kid is too tired. I need to carry this. Carry, you know. But anyway, that does not ha- dampen the, the the excitement of bringing him to Super Nintendo Land, seeing the utter joy in his face. Um, one of my cousins who has a kid around his age it lives out there, too. I rented an Airbnb with a pool. Like, it's going to be, I'm looking forward to it. The rest of summer, like, you know, I, I still got to work. My son's going to camp. So I... I'm just going to just generally enjoy being outdoors, working in the garden. Um, I I don't know. Grilling, I guess, is kind of the other thing. You know, I have my pellet grill slash smoker. So I'm going to be making ribs, brisket, pulled pork. Looking forward to that. Um, I have my fire pit that I am insistent on using. So the simple things, I think. That's what I'll be focused on cool yeah Yeah, i i would have said vacation but like i don't know if we're even going to be able to go on vacation this year because of uh because of the house hunting stuff unless like you know november rolls around and like my my parents are still planning on taking or are taking us to to disney again in november um but there's a lot of things that have to go right, I think, for us to do that. So I don't know if we're going to be able to. Uh, but I don't know. I really want to go, though. It's my favorite place. It's my favorite place. I want to go. Plus, like, Tron opened since I went last. Ooh, okay. They, uh, want something else opened while, since I was there last. There's a lot. and it's And it's not busy this year, apparently. So, great. All right. Well, Pat, you have a topic. Yeah, we can hold it for another day, though. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I'm sure. Okay. All right. Well, that's going to do it then. Uh, I know this was kind of a shorter episode, but... Uh, but short and sweet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but, you know, we got to... We want to make sure we're doing... We are doing okay. So we can make sure that you guys are getting the best versions of us. Yeah. Please let us know what your summer plans are, what you look for in the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Leave a comment on the YouTube video, or if you are a patron, leave a comment on the episode. 
Tell us what you're looking forward to this summer, and maybe we'll read them on the show next week. Or the next Perfect. episode. Yeah. Yeah, we should start encouraging people to do that across all the shows. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, Stephanie, Pat, thank you for your time tonight, as always. Uh, thank you, everybody out there who's listening. Uh, remember, you can get the show two weeks early on Patreon if you are a patron at any level. Uh, if you want to listen on free feeds or on YouTube, you can also do that. Uh, and thank you everybody for watching and or listening. And until next time, we love you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.